So we have some good old-fashioned leaks coming your way in regards to Nintendo Switch on a couple of pretty big games. Like games many of you are super excited for or will be super excited for when you hear about them. We also have some news on an upcoming sequel to a launch game for Nintendo Switch. You guys can take a guess at what game that is. And yeah, we have some news on a potential Zelda and or Star Fox movie coming from Nintendo Pretty exciting stuff. Now, before I dive into all of these things, I got to remind you that we're actually super close to 100,000 subscribers. If we can pull it off by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll give away a collector's edition for Tears of the Kingdom. We'll also give away a Tears of the Kingdom special edition Switch OLED and more. We're actually planning a number of giveaway events around this celebration. I'm super excited for all of this. You guys are epic and awesome and amazing. I love each and every one of you for liking my video, subscribing, all of that. You know, I'd actually appreciate if you guys would also go ahead and hit the bell icon. I don't bring that up very often, but that does ensure that you are notified of all of my videos when they go up, my live streams, the podcast everything we do. All right, folks, let's first get into our very, very, very first story. And this deals with maybe one of the biggest pieces of news in this video. And that is a rumor surrounding Paper Mario, the thousand year door remaster. Now, a lot of people love Paper Mario the way it is today. It does sell millions and millions of copies, but some people long for the what Paper Mario used to be, at least as of the time of the thousand year door, which was a very heavy story driven very rpg style game and it really captured the hearts of many gamers back on the gamecube now we know a lot of gamecube remasters are coming but uh we don't know what's next right we talked about f0 gx remaster and stuff like that but we don't I haven't really heard a lot of games floated out there but this one comes from a user over on family boards who i've actually personally talked to and we're just going to read his post he put over there. So he said, good evening, fammy. Hope all of you are having a brilliant day. I usually don't do this as I don't like attention. And I hope even after this, we will focus on the game and not me. As some of you know, I do hobby journalism behind the scenes and research various things for fun. Some accurate Nintendo rumors were reported by YouTubers and other sites in the past. Partially were based on my research. As I said, I don't like attention and thus always ask everyone to keep me private, which I intend to continue to remain private in the those stories. However, now I have something super excited that I'm aware of. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remaster is finally happening and coming out soon. I've been in touch with three sources on this. One of them redirected me to the third source, who I hadn't interacted with before, so this was just me cold messaging them on LinkedIn. Because this third source wouldn't acknowledge the release date I had heard from the previous two sources, I'll just leave it as coming soon. I informed both Nintendo Prime and Nate Drake about this privately. There's one more person I have informed, but they wish to remain anonymous. I personally had always wished for Thousand Year Door Remaster. I never played it on GameCube, and so I'm over the moon excited to finally play it on Switch soon. Now, as I said, I have talked to this person, and I've seen some evidence of the things they suggest. I never really went public with it because, for me, I need to have multiple sources in order for me to uh, put myself out there as a public facing source on anything like this. And I don't have multiple sources on this. It's really just this person. But I will say that the proof they showed is pretty compelling. Uh, but again, this is a total rumor, total shot in the dark. Now that they went public with it, it's being picked up by multiple outlets. This person, I will say, is pretty good at research. If I have to say anything about them, they're very, very good at researching and digging into and not afraid to just straight up ask people they don't know questions and hope for a response. Uh, at this point, this is just a rumor, but it's one that I would love to come true because who wouldn't want the Thousand Year Door remaster to come forward? Now, this wasn't the only thing that happened over the weekend because we have an apparent leak from Pikmin 4, including two screenshots. Now, I want to note about these screenshots. They don't really spoil anything. I wouldn't call them spoiler screenshots, but it is sort of evidence of something we haven't seen yet, uh, in particular to a couple of characters. But let's get into this Pikmin 4 leak because it happened over a few Reddit posts by a particular user on Reddit. Most of them have been deleted because the mods are trying to get him to consolidate it all into his one Reddit thread. But I got this summary from my Nintendo news because they followed this whole thing and I want to go over it. So we haven't got too long to wait for Pikmin 4 release as it's finally due out on Nintendo Switch on the 21st of July. Today, new information has seemingly appeared on Reddit, which has presumably been posted by a play tester. That's where people think this information is coming from. The user reports that Pikmin 4 will feature four leaders, aka captains, 
and they're all named after dog breeds, which the main character Pom being named after the Spitz type breed, Pomeranian. Pom will be available to play in the main game during daytime, in game, and when in various cave systems. The other three Pikmin captains will be playable when it's nighttime in game, with the gameplay being similar to Pikmin 3's challenge mode, where you controlled the three leaders who were Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. The Reddit user says that the nighttime mode will see players collect as many shooting stars, Conpito, as possible before the time runs out, which is around five minutes. As always, this is a rumor and it hasn't been announced by Nintendo. Look, I I like this stuff for one reason. And one reason is the following two screenshots we have. First, we see one of uh, Palm, uh, and then we see another one showing off another new character called Terrence. Now, Terrence might not be one of your playable characters, but uh, possibly could be. Anyways, these definitely look like they could be real. They also could be Photoshopped, of course. Looks like they're zoomed-in cell phone pictures trying to get rid of any identifying information of who they are because they probably don't want to get in trouble with Nintendo. Although Nintendo is pretty good at fishing out people like this, and I wouldn't be surprised if this person knew what they were doing and realized they're probably going to lose their QA playtesting job with Nintendo, if any of this is true. Now, this assumes this is true. Uh, if it is, who knows? Maybe my video gets taken out by Nintendo for sharing those two screenshots. I doubt Nintendo's going to care because at this point it's being reported everywhere. But hey, that is a thing and well, I guess we'll find out if it's true. Now next up, we do need to talk about something we know to be true. And that is because a brand new trailer dropped for Super Bomberman R2. And it's coming this September 13th in North America and the 14th in Europe. The sequel to It, it is a sequel to a Nintendo Switch launch game and it features single player, offline multiplayer, and online multiplayer. It reportedly has the most content in Bomberman history, this is their claim, and it features a stage editor, where players can make their own stages and can share them worldwide. Look, I actually really enjoyed Super Bomberman R at launch, so I'm really glad to see it get a sequel, even though it's been so long. Uh, but we need to put pause on this story, because we need to get to our last one, and this one is really exciting for Zelda and Star Fox fans, because Screen Rant had a chance to interview uh, Chris from Illumination and Shigeru Miyamoto from Nintendo about the Mario movie, and of course they couldn't help but ask the following question. Are there any other Nintendo properties, like Zelda or Star Fox, that you think would make for a good movie or series in conjunction with Illumination? Because remember, Nintendo doesn't have to make all their films with Illumination. Now, Chris didn't chose not to respond, but Shigeru Miyamoto wasn't going to leave this question completely unanswered and just say next. So he said, there's nothing I can really comment on at the moment. No surprise. But he didn't stop there. He said, but we started with the fact that we have a shared vision of creation. So I think there's opportunities in the future. So this is one of those, hey, we're not announcing anything. But we're not going to outright deny that we might work on a Star Fox. We might work on a Zelda movie with them. We're just going to let you guys speculate away until we're ready to announce what is next. I think this is obviously a brilliantly um, savvy move from Shigeru Miyamoto. It shows, you know, he's been trapped in interviews many, many times with questions like this. So he knows how to not deny it, but also not confirm anything. We're probably getting something Zelda at some point, right? Zelda's too big. Whether it's a Zelda movie or a TV series, whether Illumination does it or it's live action or it's something else entirely, I don't know. But we're probably going to get something Zelda. Star Fox, I found it interesting that Screen Rant kind of slipped Star Fox in there. That was obviously like a personal desire of the interviewer. Hey, I'd like to see something from Star Fox. I don't know that Star Fox is big enough at this point. You know, If you look at it, Mar you know, they went with Mario, their biggest IP. I would presume Zelda would probably get something at some point as well. Uh, maybe the Mario Expanded Universe, you know, which includes like Donkey Kong and stuff like that. I think it's going to be a bit before we start to see them go with more obscure IPs like a Star Fox, but still, that's just personal takes and opinions. And that is it for this video. Uh, we'll have more coming. I actually have a Zelda video in the works for later today, but I wanted to separate out that information because we have some actual news for Zelda. I wanted to separate that out uh, for a different video later today. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are awesome and amazing. What was your favorite news story in this video? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you in that next video.